Dancing, hiking, strength training, they're things people do to remain fit and stay young. And while staying young may not be literally possible based on your chronological age, the idea is not so far-fetched when you consider a person's biological age, the state of your health, or, as it said in a UC San Diego health study, a person's epigenetic age. An epigenetic age refers to someone's biological age. It's one, only just one way to measure biological age, but it captures the health of your tissues and cells and organ systems using the methylation marks across the genome. Methylation marks. These are molecules that attach to your DNA, causing some genes to be expressed and some to not be. In Perva Jane's research, those methylation markers were revealed through blood tests of about 1,800 women. Professor Andrea LaCroix was Jane's dissertation advisor. What we're trying to find is a marker that we can easily measure in the blood that tells us whether we're aging faster or slower than our chronological age. The research found that when markers act on your DNA, they can increase the risk of disease and accelerate your biological age. That has a profound effect on how long we live and how well we live. So what we found is that for every five to eight years of epigenetic age acceleration, so that means if you were five to eight years older than your chronological age, you had a 20 to 32 percent lower odds of living to age 90 with intact mobility and cognitive functions. Jane says those methylation markers are kind of like traffic signals for your genes. But how do they get there? In the case of accelerated aging, it could just be bad luck. But scientists say that well-known factors like lack of exercise and poor diet do influence your health. Put another way, they can determine your health span. Many of us think about uh, growing older, and um, the thing we perhaps fear most isn't dying, but losing the ability to live the lives we want to live. Um, at least in surveys in the past, that's what older adults have told us, that they don't care as much about living to be the oldest age they can be, but they care a lot about being able to do the things that they love doing for the longest period of time. And that's really what health span is. If accelerated aging can be reversed or stopped altogether, that's what some of these older folks are trying to do at this exercise studio in La Mesa. This studio, part of San Diego Oasis, was filled with people taking a soul dancing class when we stopped by, one of many exercise classes they offer. Oh my gosh, it keeps your mind young, it keeps your heart young. Just your whole body keeps keeps you moving, and it's so important for the whole the whole picture of health. Pat Vorman, age 62, clearly exercises here to keep her biological age as low as possible. Eleanor Smith, who's 88 years old, is a health instructor at San Diego Oasis. It's not just to stay young; it's to feel good and to be able to do the things you want to do. Of course, some people have seen their health spans run out like Andrea LaCroix's mother, who has advanced Alzheimer's disease. And she can no longer get out of her chair. She can no longer speak. She can't say our names. And we can't tell if she knows us, um, if she knows that we're her daughters. LaCroix says every person needs to decide what their health span means to them. And that question is crucial when it comes to planning the final years of our lives. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.